since and everyone, welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile. Breach League Hardcore. We goofed. Dead, rise to challenge we goofed in a spectacular way. And uh oh my fucking god, here we go again. Um, I how how did I do it? I so I went back to look at the replay. If 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 you haven't realized, we died. We absolutely died. So I went back to check it out. Turns out that there was uh it was a Zoff breach. And we had flammability on us, so we had reduced flame resistance. And Zoff himself decided to show up and kick our asses. I think it was Zoff, I think it was a fire breach. Now I might be wrong. But Basically, the Breach Lord came out, um, and I think that's how we died? Something blew us up. So, I don't know, man. Like, that shouldn't have happened, and honestly, that, that, that was my fault, because I wasn't paying attention, and I ran into the Breach Lord, it was lagging, I pulled everything together, and we didn't have enough damage to blow them all up in one go. So, I guess I kind of deserve it. I suppose, um, oh my god, we're back to this shit all over again, um, how can we make this better, right, like, that's the question I'm asking myself once again, like, how do we get out of this mess, do we want to spend another week going through this crap, like, I mean, the answer is yes, but how do we do it faster? There has to be a way. Anyways, let's not think about it. Let's not think about it too much. The first 10 levels, it's pretty straightforward. You just grab cleave, you know? You get some molten strike. Hello. Hello. Uh, molten strike. Okay, we're just going to play it as if we were racing. Is there anything in here? Uh, any backup gear? There's some helmets. Just some. Look, we have, we have some stuff. We still have a shot at doing this. Okay. Once again, yes, we are delayed once more due to the fact that uh, you know, we have to do this all over again. Uh, let me go back and grab a quicksilver real quick. But. This time around, let's do it, you know, even faster than last time. Is that possible? I'm sure it is. Let's go. We're just gonna run through everything. Even faster than last time, okay? What was it? We were trying for 30, 40 minutes per act. This time, let's do like... 25 minutes an act. You know, let's push it in a little. I admit. But, uh... We we got the experience, okay? This is this is gonna show our true metal. Uh, you might be asking yourself, uh, Mnix, what build are you playing? Honestly, I haven't thought about another build except th this one build that I I was planning. So I, I don't really it's have nice not to be dead yet. have another build in mind, and I just want to get back into the game. So you know what? We're gonna try this build again, this expensive ass build that requires us to get merciless ascendancies before we can actually live um, and all that and we're just gonna pray that we don't die to what was really our fault because it, it was something that was it, it was our fault for sure a hundred percent right or my fault not our fault um, and you know you can put all the blame on me I kind of deserve it and what did I do wrong? What did I think I did wrong? Well, first of all, our elemental resistances were not uh, elemental weakness capped. Uh, and that was a really, really big problem. Um, I'm thinking that shield that we had, it was a really good shield. I want that back. Um, that was... That was, that's a shield that can basically carry us into the late game. 
and that means we can play with one-handed stuff for a long time with it. Oh gosh. So maybe, maybe the plan is we go one-handed with shield from the get-go. That way we don't have to think about, you know, oh, switching weapons here and there, you know, getting all the right skills and whatnot. We just roll with the shield, roll with the build that we want, and then go with something easy, you know, for the remainder of Cruel. Mm, like, I don't know, one-handed Sunder. I'm not sure, actually. Getting all those jewels for knockback again, though, that's going to be the real kick in the balls. And getting all the currency back, like, I'm not looking forward to that. I can see why people can get upset about leveling because they're like, man, I want to get back to that point. But you can't get impatient either, right? The moment you start getting impatient, that's when you got when you die. I was I was really, really looking forward to the maps, and I think this death hurt a little bit more um, than that first one. This one I was like extremely disappointed, uh, but at the same time we were playing a little too recklessly. So uh, what? Like, honestly, there's nobody to blame but myself. That was... that was my fault. It's okay, we'll get back into it. Six minutes? Look, today let's try for a really fast Act 1. In order to get a fast Act 1, you really have to push it. And I mean that. Really, really have to push it. Um, like a race? I don't know. Let's not go go too crazy. I don't want to take more risks. I don't want to just like die in like you know Act Three normal or something. But you know what? On the brights, uh, and here's here's what we have going for us. Okay, let's let's list the things we have going for us. One, we've done this before. We know what it takes, and we know that we 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 did just fine, right? We lost some of the gear. Specifically, we lost Jeffrey's baptism. But besides that, everything else is still we, we still have, right? Like what were we using before Jeffrey's Baptism? We were using I can't remember. We were using some unique axe, right? And that's still available. Oh we were using White Swing. Right, that's that's still there. Uh maybe I won't even use it, right? Um I am kind of more interested in picking up uh, that unique counterattack shield, and then just rolling with that for the foreseeable future. Probably once we finish Act One, so this episode. Once we finish this episode, I'm gonna go get that shield. Honestly, I should have went and bought it before I even created the character, but I don't have a hard character, hardcore character to trade with, so I guess that would be a problem. <laughs> so at the very least, we need to get ourselves to like. A level where we can actually trade. Like we, we needed to create a character first and get into town, you know, before we could actually do anything. So I guess there was that. All right, let's let's keep going. Wait, where's where's the ledge? Okay, here we go. Oh, and I had a pretty good, pretty good armor for leveling, didn't I? I had a thousand ribbons. That would be really good. Couldn't ask for a better training ground than Rayclass. Okay. So what does it take to go fast? Um, basically not stopping to kill things, you just want to keep moving. And it also takes a lot of just pure physical damage. So one thing I should actually do right now is I should take my TP, I should go home and I should buy an iron ring. If I can't buy it, I think I have it in my stash. So here's an iron ring, do I have another one? Well, Buddha. Invite. Right. 
Oh no, 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 weapon elemental. Which one? Level nine, level one. So we should get some iron rings. Dude, I'm so sad. That we died. That was my mistake. Man. Okay, how do I get more damage? There's a thousand ribbons here. It requires 17 intelligence. Look, that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be too hard, right? Maybe I can get a belt or a ring or something. Here's a ring. This gives me some int. Sure, let's do that. Thousand ribbons. Alright. Thousand ribbons, we have some more damage now. And then let's keep moving. So these should be one shots, right? Nope, two shots. Okay. Okay, it's pretty much one shots. That is good. That is exactly what we need in order to go faster. 11 minutes, huh? We can do this. We can do this. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, you should really take off the armor because you lose move speed. And I agree with you, but ah, I should, shouldn't I? But thousand ribbons is the armor. You can't really take it off. This is where the damage is coming from. Whatever, let's just keep going. Gotta move changes to move only. Keep running. We'll only actually attack when we're out of Quicksilver pots. Okay, this is how we're gonna play it. We're gonna keep running until we run out of Quicksilver Pots. When we see a pack, we'll fight them. And then we'll keep running some more. Okay? And we're gonna keep this up until we get all the way to Mervil. Until we get all the way to Merciless. I think... I really think we can do... We can get to the end in like 10 hours or something. 10 hours would be like... Uh, that's like what? 10 episodes? 5 days? Does it really take that long? I feel like we could do it faster. It could take one day of playing for like 10 hours straight. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset. Only slightly. And, and it's less upset, more like... More determined than ever to get back to like where I used to be. I think this is how gambling addictions like happen, you know? It's like I can Daddy's gonna he's gonna win a car. Just shh kids. Don't worry about me spending your college tuition. You know? Don't worry that I'm gonna spend basically the rest of my hardcore currency in leveling gear. Because I'm gonna get an awesome build. That will make it all back. That's basically my mentality mentality right now, which isn't it's it's not a safe mentality to, to say the least. Um oh, let's grab the double jade hatchets, those are actually kind of good. And this will allow us What? Oh Okay. We don't need double strike. Maybe we get some move speed boots? Oh, perfect. And are these any good? 4 to 10, 6 to 13? No. We got two levels, huh? Whoa, all the goats just died. That's pretty cool. 
Alright, so the hatchets do a lot more damage than the swords, which is uh, pretty ideal in this situation. Okay, so now we're in prison. 15 minutes. Yes, I know I skipped flooded depths in order to go faster, but look, progression is what matters right now. Okay, screw the necromancer. I I don't I really don't care. Can't be can't be arsed to fight this guy, okay? Unless you are a a magic pack is pretty good though. They give really good EXP. So I'm okay with fighting this. We're, we're gonna get back to it, I promise. I can't believe I goofed so hard though. I should have kept my resistances. That's one of those things you learn, you know? Just never, never overestimate the content. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That didn't come from Path of Exile, obviously. That came from another game that I despise. I believe in traveling in a you know, like a like a rival kind of way. Like, oh he's my best friend, but I despise him. You know? For those of you who don't know, that would be Darkest Dungeon. That game was just way it was way too much for me, which is one of the reasons why we had to drop it. It, I, I realized very quickly that I was just way in over my head when playing that game. I thought it would be like you know like a one month endeavor, and eventually realized that it was gonna be much longer than a month before we were we would even get close to finishing that game. And I'm like, you know what? I can't keep this up. I don't have the patience. I don't have the energy. Well, there you go. So, I don't know. It's uh, uh, just so disappointing. But you know what? 25 minutes? 25 minute Marvel? Is that is that possible? It might be. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Didn't even break a sweat. And while we're at it, we can take this time to make some money, right? Farming low-level content does mean we get decent, you know, alchemy drops, like just straight currency drops. Because you're basically going through so much of the game content, and, uh, killing so many monsters essentially. You still get like a decent amount of currency. Maybe your clear speed isn't as good, but uh, that doesn't matter. So I'm thinking either I'm thinking shield charge might be a thing. It might be a thing. An exile here. A shame the war. But face breakers are so expensive this league. Damage. Make sure you tell out. Maybe it's not a thing. Okay, well we are on Brutus already. It's what, eighteen minutes? Eighteen minute Brutus is pretty slow. Here people can get to Mervil in like fifteen minutes, man. 15 minute Marvel, obviously that's pushing it, but I'd like to push the limits a little at this point in time. Uh, more HP. But I think I'm gonna go straight into shields once I get to Act 2. That is the plan, and then I don't have to fiddle around with two-handed weapons and whatnot. I don't have to worry about, you know, not being tanky. We just, we just go straight for it, man. Okay, I'd like to go back and get an Ancestral Protector real quick. That would help. And I thought I had a medium life flask. Apparently only a medium mana flask. Flasks? Yeah, I don't have one. Do I have any weapons that I can fight Brutus with? I have a Worm Smolt. That's pretty decent. Um. Oh, we should. No, we need. I'm thinking Stone of Lazwar might be better than the Anvil. 
for our situation in Merciless. At least for a f short period of time. Um, okay, let's see. There's nothing else? Okay. Added fire. Sounds good. Um, I mean, we're going to need knockback. We're going to need a 20% knockback. Oh my god, we're going to need so much stuff. Let's let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Where's the ancestral protector? Where is it? Ikoi, Rejuve, Ancestral Protector. So Ancestral Protector. Um we'll put this in the back to level. And then we need Let's see, Molten Strike, added fire. Glacial hammer is a whatever item. Okay. Your crime is trespass. Your sentence is death. Just gotta kill this guy real quick. Got him. <laughs> Next. Kill beats size every time. And then we'll put cleave on added fire. That's good. And now we just have to fight Mervil. Uh, can we get there in nine minutes? Yeah, I'm sure we could. I'm pretty confident in my abilities to just run in a straight line. And every now and then, you know, right click some things. Okay. Those little sand, like, borrowers, they give quite a bit of EXP, so I don't mind farming those things. These fire dogs are actually pretty annoying. Gravel Eater, that's what they're called. Okay, keep going, keep going. I mean, maybe. Ha, my fans know I don't know. I don't know what to level with, honestly. That's the problem. I don't know what to do. We're gonna need. Like, the first little bit is the same, like, every time. So I guess I'm not too worried there. Um, I guess once we get to Cruel, that's when we really have to figure out what to level with. The first bit, it's it's always the same. Grab some two-handed weapons, you go around, you sunder people. And then you use Earthquake for a bit, you know? And then you either switch to Cyclone or you switch to Blade Flurry. Those are my options. And I'm thinking Blade Flurry might be quicker. I almost feel sorry for these doomed sea dogs. And that way we can see some of ver variety too. Switch up the abilities. Um, and people have been giving me a lot of recommendations for what to do with Blade Flurry, so... I might go back. I read those comments, but I've forgotten some of them. Um, I might go back and read those. And based on the recommendations, maybe we'll play Blade Flurry for a bit before respecking into... You know, are the build of our dreams. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. We really, really, really will have to see. And like, this is all assuming that we don't die before then, right? Okay, 24 minutes. We're in the Cavern of Wrath. Yes, we didn't do the ship graveyard, but... I'll do that outside of recording. I, I don't think it's worth doing it in recording time. Let's just progress. Once we get to like a really high level, we can do the ship graveyard quest and the flood of depths quest so quest so quickly that it shouldn't even, you know, be a problem. So Alright, let's go.
Let's go, let's go. So we'll be able to do Marvel pretty quick, but our resistances are... They're not good. I think I have some Sapphire Rings in my... In my stash though, so I guess we can pick it up once we get there. But now we just... You don't stop running, man. You don't ever stop running. Just gotta go fast. And like based on the experience that we have accumulated from, you know, last week, we know that we can go through this area pretty confidently without experiencing too much loss. Um, we just have to... Oh, gosh. Oh, God. That was pretty dangerous. Just gotta be careful. I need bigger flasks. That's, that's one thing I need. I need a better flask. Gosh. I like a large life flask would really help out right now. Whatever. Another level. We want Art of the Gladiator. Let's level these things. We have a rare sword. Is it good? It's better than what we have. Definitely. Um, as a matter of fact... No, I don't have a Transmute Orb. Okay. Alright, we're getting real close to Marvel. I can feel it. Real close. Okay. I believe in traveling light. I, I suppose we're going for Marvel now. I mean, let's at least take the shrine and fight her with it. No, before we get into Marvel's lair, we have to pick up a sapphire ring, right? Like, this is not okay. We can't go in with this little cold res cold resistance. Um, but it is a 28 minute mark, so I'm feeling pretty good as we have cut, cut it down to 30 minutes compared to, what was it? Like, oh, we could try Lacerate. That might be fun. Okay, we'll try it out. Okay, what you got for me? Let's sell all this junk. I do want to sell this stuff, right? I'm not making like a horrible mistake. No, I think this is fine. Uh, Lacerate requires level 12. Okay. Um, let's take Whirling Blades. And then let's take... Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, now I need some Cold Resistance Jewels. This one is available. This one's better than what I have. Not much better. But it's a bit better. And then let's go with this. I'll augment it. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. So now we have... 48 cold resistance. Look, it doesn't get any better than this, okay? Let's see if I can uh, put on a better helmet or something. Uh, here, this gives some cold resistance. Um, what else? Oh, uh, no, I don't want to. Fuck it. 
Let's do this. That should max us up, right? Okay, we're totally maxed out. Uh, huh, 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 why am I doing? Let's put on that helmet that gives us damage as it might peak. That might be better still. Oh God. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We cannot evade. So our defenses are piss poor. Okay. However, we can deal a, a pretty decent amount of damage. Where is my Ancestral Protector? Ancestral Protector over here. Uh, whirling Blades like here or something. Good enough. Okay, Marvel, come here. Come here, come here. I just need to... Oh god, she hurts. Why? Does it hurt so much? Why don't have why do not do I not have better flasks? That's the real question. I should have bought some from Nessa, that was my mistake. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there. Okay. Half HP now. Oh, we gotta be careful with that attack. We got her. We got her. As expected, it should have been quite easy. Ladies first, uh, Nope. Okay. 32 minutes, act one. Um, that's it for this episode. We, we're, we're back to this shit again, you know? But at, at the very least, you can see, you know, what I like to do when I level, especially with the Duelist. Uh, this is sort of the pattern I go with. Next time around, we're going to switch over to Sunder, which once we hit level 12, instead of Lacerate. Mm, let's not do Lacerate. I think I think Sunder is definitely uh, is the right choice. Um, so we're going to switch to Two-Handed Sunder afterwards. But that's actually it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, soon, soon.